Hello and welcome back. Today I have a new SWR power meter. It is fully digital and it's from BG5 CQV. And you might know it from the SWR 120. That is this little one. And it was only numbers, which was nice to see. But if you want to adjust your antenna, maybe you want something like that more represents more a needle and it is now here and it is the SWR 508 so let's have a look well here we have the small SWR 120 very nice very popular there were a few different models but it is from the CQV very popular for mobile use and it's just nice because it's so uh, compact and now just in the latest you can use it mobile, but it is probably more aimed at your desktop. It's a lot bigger. It's quite heavy. It feels good. I think it's like 800 grams. Crappy quality, I think. But I just put a stone in the back. But the display is huge. Look at this. Compared to the other meter. Nicely sealed. It is really proper box. I'm amazed. Big text on the back. Perfect. Just two connectors, one in, one out. It uh, is the same as the other power SWR meters. It's all on the same side. Yeah, we have a Diva, same side. So you can just quickly switch over. For scale, I put the standard Diva in the bottom. And, uh, well, it is a little bit less wide, but it is just as deep. So let's power it on. It has a battery inside also, just like the small one. And it's only to charge. I ask if there is firmware available or software. It is not. So this is purely directly connected to the battery. Maybe when we have a look inside, we can have a better look that but this is now the information I have so switch on pretty cool they have here the power in numbers but they have here a bar it is uh, out of switching so it starts at 25 and if you go above that it switches to uh, 100 I think and uh, then it stays there so it doesn't switch all the time back and forth back and forth if you want it to go back to 25 you just uh, switch it off and so this is the forward power it has actually two bars we will see that later one is uh, a little bit delayed so maybe it is a sort of a peak meter and uh, the other one is just uh, fast and here we have the reflected power and it also will switch scales it is a touch screen uh, we have here the battery power. Here is the brand, but maybe you could type in your own call sign there. And uh, if we go to the menu, we can set a few things. The brightness, well, the 50% was okay uh, for me. So 50% return. Uh, auto power down is now 10 minutes. We increased it or lower that. Uh, we have an SWR alarm. It's now set at 2.0. I think you can do it all the way up to 5. And if you switch it to 5.1, you're actually disabling the alarm. But the 2.0 is good enough. Um, it is already calibrated, but you can calibrate, uh, I think, 10% up and 10% or 20% up and 20% down even. Uh, but as I said, it's already calibrated, so it should be. We have a look at that, and of course, forward and reflected. We can do a name. So let's see if I do that. What happens with that? Oh, I see my own call sign in the top. Well, we need to test it, of course. So I have my radio. Jesu FT450D because the power you can easily adjust. I have here my Camu dummy load for 300 watts, but the, this one is around 100 and we can switch it down. I can compare it, of course, with my Daiwa and 
I have another Daiwa, bigger one, just to be sure that the values are correct. And I have my end fed right here with a little antenna tuner. So let's play a bit. Okay, I think I have to display so it doesn't reflect too much. Uh, let me change the power a bit. Uh, let's get to 20 watts first. I'm in FM on the dummy load. So let's see, the antenna tuner is uh, off. Okay, so we should have around 20 watts, I think. It says 20 watts, of course it's a dummy load. So it says one, and we see here, this one is the delayed. So maybe that is the peak power. And the green one you see is the, now well, we can try that on the SSB. Here we have the peak power, and here it is the current power, reflective, how much power is going into the antenna. It means 100% because we have 20 watts, and it is the SWR of 1.00. And we see here the readout, nothing reflected, yes, one dot. Well, I'm not sure if that is really peak or just a delayed to show you. It jumped to uh, 10. Let's see with uh, with the other power meter what that would be. Yeah, it's almost. It's exactly 20. Let's see, it matches also the big one here. We are on FM. 20 watts. Okay. How for PEP it needs a uh, voltage, so I connected the DC power. And here it goes to 20. So that is clear then, this one just gives the peak power and not necessarily the PEP power. Okay, let's see the switching of the power. So now we have the 20 watts. Well, uh, clearly it agrees with uh, my DIVAS. So with the fight, put some more power. Let's go to, I can slowly increase, and then, and one more, and it goes to the next scale. Full power, almost 100. Well, it thinks here 100, doesn't necessarily that it is. Yeah, it says 93. Well, we can get the device if that is correct or not. And now it stays in the higher scale. So it doesn't all the time go up and down, up and down. Now it's immediately in the big scale already. Yeah, and the dummy load, of course, is uh, spot on. But the better test is, of course, what does the Marconi think? And the Marconi thinks it's 94 watts, 93 watts. So they all agree. The meter is well calibrated. So the Daiwas, the Marconi, and this power meter, they all agree. So how does it work in practice? I will put my end fed with the little antenna tuner. Okay, when well we switch off the antenna tuner, we keep an FM. I can put the power down to 10 watts because adjusting the SWR with the tuner, you do on low power. So we can keep it here. The antenna tuner, I have here a little Daiwa, nice and compact. So what I usually do is just uh, on reception, get the most, is to Yeah, this seems it. Keep it in the middle. Now it goes lower, go up. So we are somewhere here. Yeah. 
Okay, now we can try to adjust. It's washing 10 watts, I think. Let's see, LF power, yeah, still 10 watts. That's good enough for the start. Let's go back to uh, FM or AM, FM, and no one here. And the SWR is terrible, and we can hear the alarm, so let's start to adjust. Here we go down already, look at that. Okay, this one is about there. Can we do some more there? Yeah, look at that. That works pretty cool, actually. Look at that, 9.90. I'm surprised how well that goes, because I'm very used to needles. And usually with the digital, that is difficult to see, because you only look at the numbers like here and here. But with this bar, actually, you can adjust pretty good. There is a little delay, which with the needle is much more direct, but I think they did it pretty well. Let's do that again a little bit closer by. So the bottom one here, that is the reflected power. Here we go up. I tune. Look at that. Well, now we have tested with uh, 10 watts and uh, SWR is good. There are no alarms. Then we can try to put some more uh, power. Let's go to uh, 100 watts. So back to the dummy load, I want to check how well the reflected power is also calibrated. We are in the dummy load, so I'm putting exactly 10 watts, 10 watts, and we have nothing in a retour. I will just turn the forward and the reflected. With low power you can do this, and it will measure the other way around. Don't do this with high power because the scale is different. Usually it's a trick to reverse your cables and then you can see only the reflected power and then you can calibrate it. But here, if then what's here, I have power, I see all my power supply I'm using, but it doesn't want to show reflected only. Probably it always needs a little bit to have forward power. Then we will have to test it just by connecting them both and then readjusting the antenna. Um, should be still on 10 watts. The air is clean, and we have 10 watts forwards, 10 watts forwards, zero reflected. Let's adjust up to one watt here. Turning, turning, turning. It says 0 0.4, 0 0.5, a little bit to one watt. Here is one watt, here is almost one watt, so the reflected is good. Let's see if the alarm works also. It works at 2, I think. Yeah, it starts to beep. And done. Um, that looks good. I've seen uh, other SWR power meters digital which don't have the bars. They are actually also quite expensive, like the KPO. And there you see only the numbers. And then the bars is a real, real good improvement. I like it a lot. Calibration is good forward and reflected. We've seen that compared to the Diva, which I know is uh, good. Uh, maybe we can have a look at the inside. Well, as I said before, it feels really well built. It feels heavy. It is proper metal, so it's completely closed. I like it a lot. Let's uh, have a look inside. Yeah, what I hear from the supplier is that this is only a charge port. There is no firmware available, at least not for the public. They didn't want to supply it. 
and there is now uh, other software also to control it so this is really to charge but I'm still very interested what is on the inside Oh, it opens like this. Oh, look at the even the display is metal in the back, so it's completely RF closed. That is smart. We can put some sort of SIM card in the front. What is that? Now we have the back unit. It has a huge battery. Look at that. And we have the other side where the actual measuring is done. Look at that. I'm impressed by the build quality. It feels good. Uh, let me see if the solder joints are good. But it, the PCB looks nice. But when I look at the, here at the power cable, it is a little bit more than just the 5 volts, the USB cable in. So maybe there is some communication. So maybe if we check the chips, if we can maybe find out if it should be possible or not. I made some pictures. We can have a look at this one, but this is probably just a lithium ion charger chip. This one has been shaved off. That's a pity. This one also, this one also. So we can't see too much. But I wonder if the code is on here or it's on the display. So we put it back together and let's see if it still works. And you see the call sign that you program is also in startup. That's very nice. That's it, the CQV SWR 508. And I must say, I like what they've done with the bars. Usually when you uh, have these fully digital SWR power meters, you only look at the numbers and when you are tuning, it's kind of it's difficult for the brain to really see that the 3 is higher than a 2, or it's just me because I'm old. But then I like the needles a lot more. But with these bars, is this a great addition? You can actually see what you were doing, and I had no problem tuning because the bar would just go up and down. I like it a lot. And the box also, it is pretty well built. I was actually, yeah, I'm positively surprised. I think I actually will use this. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time.